the Enlightened Gamer here. Welcome back to Ninja's first leap of faith. Let's play Paper Mario 64. I, uh... After last... After... The last adorable episode of this game, what could possibly go wrong? So the reason I'm butt stomping everywhere is because I looked at a brief map to see what secrets were here before starting this recording. And it said that there are two... Oh, we need that bolt shroom. Guess we're tossing the tasty tonic. I think I messed this up, but I checked out Gusty Gulch which is the next area we're going to, to see what there is. It doesn't look like there are any badges in the gulch. Again, we will make, be making returns to all of these areas, so if I miss something, I'll get it on the montage or on the return to the area. Go ahead, open it! It's kind of cool that we can actually see the booze now. So Mario, we're on our way! Are you scared? I didn't jump. It jumped for me. So apparently it said that there is a Starkey's panel near this gate. And I could always come back, especially for the panels. as later items will make it easier to search for them. There it is! And to flip the panel, you have to hit near it, but not on it. We're in Mexico now! Oh, 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 new enemies! My plug is out of the way. Strike. I'm gonna go ahead and. You can see my jump has been substantially upgraded by the special books we got in the last episode. I'm gonna go ahead and tattle on this Hyper Paragoomba. Hyper Paragoombas are Hyper Goombas with wings. Well, what's a Hyper Goomba? Max in point 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. So they sometimes charge their power before attacking. That charge attack will take away, whoa, eight hit points? So watch out when they start to glow. They'll miss if you can become transparent. Except for that, they're no different than normal Paragoombas. Just use a jump to defeat them. They do one point of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and tattle on this one so I can get it off the field. This is a Hyper Goomba. Hyper Goombas are crazy uncivilized Goombas living in Gusty Gulch. Racist. Max hit point seven. Attack power one, defense power zero. They sometimes charge their power before attacking. That charge attack will take away eight hit points. So watch out when they start to glow. It's a good idea to use Bell or an item to become transparent. The attack will miss for sure. But that's why I told that turn is so now we only have two to deal with. And even if one of them, even if both of them charge up, we can at least take one of them out for sure. We're going to jump on your faces and break your butts. I don't know. I have to stick my foot in my mouth sometimes in my commentary. Oh lord, I missed the action command. I really couldn't have afforded to do that. Because if this one charges now, I could be in trouble. Wait, 
Wait a minute. No, I'm not. We're good. We're good. We've still got this. You're not gonna get to use your supercharged up attack because I'm not gonna let you. Awesome! Awesome! Double the star points. 18 when we would have gotten 9. Also, I guess they sometimes drop dried shrooms. Is that really the first time a common enemy dropped an item? Look, it's a Mexican boo! Oh, Lady Bo! What a surprise seeing you! You know, your lady sheep, you really shouldn't come around here. It's dangerous, I say. Tubba Blubba could come here at any time. I know! I came here to teach that Tubba Blubba a lesson! Bring him on! When was the last time he came through here? Why, it was just yesterday, my lady. It was horrible. He, uh, this time he ate Herbert. Oh, it was gruesome. Poor Herbert. He was so dark and depressing. What a terrific boo! Oh no, not Herbert! Oh, Tubba Blubba! He must be stopped! Listen, everyone, don't fear! We're on our way to defeat this Tubba Blubba once and for all! That monster has eaten his last boo meal! Oh, lady, your bravery! She is inspiring me! But no, he's called the Invincible Tubba Blubba. Please be careful, okay? This is the village at the bottom of Gusty Gulch. So, also, hidden block with a coin. Kind of pointless, but thought I'd point it out. Oh boy, a healing heart. Might as well heal that no damage that I had. Hey, hello there. You're growing up to beat Tubba Blubba, right? Yeah, get revenge. He'll never get another ghost. Never! Especially not... Oh, oh no! Tubba Blubba's coming! Everybody hide! Lady Bo, you have to hide Mario! Mario, we... Mario, we have to hide! Use the power immediately! Press down, C! Everything's cool, lady! Everything's cool, lady! He can't see you! There's no way Tubba Blubba can see you right now! <coughs> Mmm, uh, looks yummy. I needed snack. Uh, a little tangy, but good. Well, after, yeah, after the last episode being Adorabu, I think it's no doubt that this episode's been Terabu. <clears throat> and I'm about to do something you shouldn't do. Actually, really quick before I do it. I'm gonna take off my payoff and put back the D down pound. Of course I got hit! Even though I hit the B button, it just doesn't count. This is a hyper cleft. This is a hyper cleft. Hyper clefts have more defense power than normal clefts. Max hit points, four, four. Defense power, three. Def attack power, three. They sometimes charge their power before attacking. That charge attack will take away eight hit points, so watch out when they start to glow. They'll miss you if you can become transparent. 
Her defense power will fall to one if you use an explosion to flip them over. And in case you hadn't noticed, they have spikes on top! Don't hurt, it'll hurt if you jump on them. But even a hyperclefts are no match for the D down pound. And now I can do my best to avoid them in the future now that we have tattled them. So let's pull back out Lady Bo. Even though I'm probably gonna run into spiked Goombas. We need our profane little friend to get this dizzy dial. But I'm not gonna bother. Because I don't use dizzy dials much. Oh! You really want this item! Repel Gel is probably the best item in the entire game. No, I'm not I'm not hyping it up too much either. Oh god. I got a letter. I got a letter. I got a letter. Can I just say how much I like this music in this area too? Okay, we're back. I know I skipped that fight, because I didn't actually fight. It was stupid. It should have never happened, and of course I got hit by the first strike, because I always get hit by the first strike. Every time without fail in this Let's Play, even though I almost never get hit by re first strikes when I play normally by myself. That's another star piece behind this rock. Don't forget it. That one is very easily missable. Not because we can't go back to get it later, but just because it's really well hidden. I think we got everything in Gusty Gulch. And even though every fiber of my being is telling me to save right now, I'm going to avoid saving and we're going to go into Tubba Blubba's castle. These are not enemies. If they hit you, they won't get a first strike off. They'll take you back outside the castle. The best way to avoid them is with Bo. Like that. Again, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I'm gonna get the drop on this enemy so that I can... I should take off the D down pound badge. Now that we're out of hypercleft territory. So I can put back on the payoff badge. I guess I can try to show this off. Oh darn it, of course it didn't work. If you can do a double jump, in the air and land on an enemy, it does four times, it does four points of damage instead of two when the battle starts. So it can be in your best interest to try and start battles with a jump attack. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Ba. Yep, these are little tubba blubbas, also known as clubbas. They're kind of cute. This is a clubba. Clovers are the main guards of Tubba Blubba's castle. Max hit points 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. They often sleep on the job. If you walk very slowly, they won't wake up. They may look big, but if you use your action command perfectly, they're not so tough. And the timing for this is really weird. You want to hit it really late. I missed them both because I always miss them both on this Let's Play. But, I actually have had times when I haven't been hit by the clubbas for ages. There we go! It's really weird timing, like I said, but it's not impossible to master. And that got us a lot of coins because we're hurt. 
But more importantly than getting coins is surviving. So I'm gonna go on ahead and use a s the fried egg. And check this room out. As you can see, there is a badge up there. I'm pretty sure that's the D-Down Jump. Another excellent badge for this type of a playthrough. I'm gonna pull out Bo again because she really is just better in this area. Come on, Clubba. Yep, with Bo, you can actually play some Metal Gear Mario.